What do you do when life throws you a curveball? I think there's no better backdrop for a question like that than our local baseball field. Life throwing you a curveball. Now, unless you live under a rock, in a cave, or you're hiding somewhere with rose-colored glasses, in which case eventually it will hit you, that curveball, everyone in life has curveballs that come their way. Sometimes it's um, sickness, disease, rejection, divorce, breaks in relationships, loss of jobs. You can go on and on and on. Everyone gets them, and they are in many ways common to all. But have you ever noticed that there are people, all of whom will experience curveballs in their lives, and yet the difference is in how they relate to those curveballs. Some go through it and think, hey, what am I going to do in the middle of this thing, and how can I move on, while others kind of stay parked right where they are. Now, think about this. Most curveballs in life are external, and we all notice them, and they're easily detectable. But here's the next thing, and probably the more pernicious I want you to pay attention to. Did you know that there are curveballs in life that are very subtle, almost secretive? It's because they're not external, they're internal. And they come by way of invitations. When, at times, things don't go our way, and we are really moved off our mark, we have opportunities in our mind to decide, am I going to be disappointed about this and stay there? Am I going to become bitter in life and stay there? And probably worst of all of them is the one question and invitation that comes and says, why don't you be a victim? Why don't you be a victim? And this way, every curveball in life can be blamed upon why you are in the hole you're in. Now that question is a really deep one. It may even hit you where you've been living. Maybe I'm talking to you and you gave in to that very subtle curveball Here's the thought, even if you did, did you know you could still make a decision to say, I'm coming out? And ultimately, the curveball didn't take uh, care of me. I took care of it. This has been more for you. I hope it gives you a great thought for your day and for your life. Take care. Bye-bye.